You probably know someone in New Zealand who'd smoke 10 cigarettes a day. Well, if that person is on the average wage, that person would have to work full time for six weeks just to fund his or her annual tobacco use. This isn't an unforeseen consequence of an otherwise sensible policy. This is the government's big plan to cut smoking rates. But there must be a better way. Cigarettes and e-cigarettes in 60 seconds. Since 2010, the excise on tobacco products has gone up 10% every January. About 80% of a pack's purchase price isn't even for the cigarettes themselves, it's just tax. As a consequence, a pack of 25 cigarettes that cost under $12 in 2006 will now cost around $40. This hurts low-income people and their families the most as they go without groceries and clothing to pay for their addictions. And it's not working. Around 13% of New Zealanders still smoke daily. Minister Jenny Salesa, if you're watching this, don't raise tobacco excise next January. And don't place outrageously heavy restrictions on vaping like you've suggested. E-cigarettes are an excellent tool for quitting smoking. They're actually how I quit. Unlike patches or gum, using an e-cigarette is very similar to inhaling on a cigarette. It's the best available nicotine replacement and nowhere near as harmful. And it's important that we let people use e-cigarettes in public, purchase appealing e-liquid flavors, and view advertising that informs them it's a safer alternative to encourage people to make the switch. Cigarettes kill 5,000 New Zealanders a year. Sensible, non-intrusive vaping regulations will dramatically lower that number. Another tobacco tax hike will make the government a lot of money in excise revenue, hurting some of New Zealand's most vulnerable citizens in the process. In the time it takes for me to say this sentence, the government has spent 25,068 taxpayer dollars. We are the group holding them to account for every cent. Join the Taxpayers' Union at taxpayers.org.nz.